Wednesday, March the 26th. Lake level's right at 9.15. It's actually came down about six inches in the last couple days. And it actually came up almost two foot from, from last week. You know, we had some snow and ice and it was more towards Arkansas, so most of the runoff seemed to come in like from the Kings River, Long Creek, and, and the Upper White. And what that did up there, you know, a lot of that water that came in was real muddy there for several days. Now, you know, there's been pretty good color, like as far as Long Creek up to about the 86 bridge, you'll start to see a little stain in the Big Cedar area. And probably by now, the, the stuff that was coming out of the Kings River, the color change should be right about at the Shell Knob, should be just coming into the main lake. But, the, you know, the fishing's been really up and down. Uh, you know, winter just doesn't seem like it wants to go away. These fish are kind of going crazy. You can get a day or two of sunshine. Uh, I mean, the bite gets really good. It seems like there's a pretty good bite in the morning. Then it goes, you know, uh, you got a three or four hour low. And then in the afternoon, especially if that sun gets up and that water starts warming up. Now, the water temperature for the most part, 44, you know, mid 40s, 44, 45 degrees. Now, if you get some sunshine up in that stained water, you'll see some 50, 51 degrees. And even in the main lake, uh, you know, it'll get up 48, 49 degrees. Even though the water temperature's still that cold, by the lates of the days and everything, and then fish know it's time to start spawning. And a lot of the fish I'm catching, especially the better ones, I mean, they're right there in the spawning areas, or just outside of where they're gonna spawn. Like a lot of the uh, gravel pockets where they're gonna spawn, if you've got a couple isolated cedars or some brush piles, you know, 10, 12, 15 foot of water, there's some good fish holding in that stuff. Now in the mornings, and when it's cloudy and the water temperature's cool, I don't think them fish are up in there real good, or if they are, they're not biting. It seems like I need a couple degree of rise in the water temperature and the sunshine to catch those fish. Uh, most of them I'm catching out of them isolated cedars like that are coming on jerk baits. Now there's a lot of different jerk baits that'll work. I've got a lot of confidence in the in the spro, the McSticks, uh, but the mega basses will work. The uh, Smithwick will work real well, but depends on the color of the water. And you know, if it have got a lot of sunshine, like this one here, it's got a lot of flash in it. It's got a black back, blue sides, and chrome. And if the water's got a little stain to it, uh, I'll throw this old glory. It's got a green and black back, a little gold on the side. It's got a good flash, almost like a, like a clown color in that stained water. And another one I'll try in the real clear water is a. It's similar to a Norman Flake, it, but it's got a clear belly on it. Now, you know, like I say, the, there's a, just a lot of different ways to catch the fish. A lot of guys have been catching them on a spinnerbait. I know that, you know, may seem a little odd with the water temperature like it is, but uh, like I say, when that, that water gets up into that high 40s, then fish are really getting aggressive and fairly shallow. And we've caught a lot of fish on, uh, on jigs in the last week. And a lot of these same fish, you know, the fish have been in these same areas just outside of where they're going to spawn. Uh, I've been catching some out of boat docks, you know, on main lake and secondary points leading into the spawning pockets. And most of them haven't been very deep. You know, I haven't, most of my jig bites, whether it's around dock or on channel swing banks, hadn't been much deeper than, you know, about 18 foot. And I've been catching them on a, a pig sticker Snowden jig uh, with either a little critter craw or a zoom speed craw for a trailer. Uh, some of the fish I'm catching out on the channel swings from that 8 to 12 feet deep, you know, in the creeks. I'm throwing a half ounce football jig, a pig sticker jig, you know, fishing around the timber and around the rock transitions. I'm really trying to key on the rock transitions right now where it comes from bigger rock to gravel. Now, I think, I think there's still a ton of fish out there on the main lake. You know, most of the fish were still catching a large mouse. We're starting to see a few small mouse and a few uh, Kentuckys. But I believe there's a ton of fish out on the main lake, like on the bluff ends, on the main lake channel swings, that haven't come up yet. They're starting to come up a little bit because the jerkbait bite in the creeks and on the main lake 
has been better than it has been in the past. It seems like a, a lot of those fish were really bottom related, but now as the sun gets up and water starts warming up, they're starting to suspend up a little higher in that water column out over the deeper water on some of these main lake points. And, and that's where the bite will really get fun is whenever these Kentuckys and other large mouse and small mouse on the main lake start moving up. Right now, it's still, you know, a lot of the creeks. Now, the upper White River and the upper Long Creek for the last, oh, two, three weeks kind of been the dominant areas where a lot of the fish have been being caught. But I'm seeing that, and like in the White River, there's a good bite now from Shell Knob down to Baxter. Like in the, some of the bigger creeks, like uh, Big Creek. You know, Big Creek's kind of like a lake in itself. It's got good areas to crankbait, uh, good areas to throw a jig, Alabama rig, or jerkbait. And uh, the Indian Creek's in behind Baxter and Trace Hollows, a little bit of stain back in the Indians coming out of those rivers there. And those areas are a little bit warmer, and the bite's, you know, getting a lot better there. And the bite has kind of been off in the Kimberling City, the Indian Point area, but normally that's my favorite area this time of year. But I think we just need a couple more degrees in water temperature, you know, to get that area fired up. Uh, you know, there's still been a real good Alabama rig bite. Now that bite has gotten a little bit shallower too. You know, we were having to fish the bait down anywhere from 20 to as deep as 40 foot. But a lot of the places now you can get on them channel swings on the main lake and in the creek, set the boat in about 30 to 40 feet of water. Uh, you're catching them out around pole timber, mainly channel swings, you know, similar to a bluff end on the main lake and in the creeks. It's any place where there's a rock transition and uh, channel swings where them fish are staging and getting ready to move back in a little bit, a little bit further. Now, as far as, you know, the dam area and stuff, that's a lot like what's been going on around Kimberling, but that bite that had been real good up at Baxter seems to be working on down towards the dam, and so is it the stained water. The majority of the shad kill is pretty much over with. The, we're seeing a lot less birds than, than what we had been. And there's a good crankbait bite too. You know, my favorite crankbait is probably a wiggle wart, but they'll bite like a DT6, uh, little, you know, series four or five striking, it's just more of what you got confidence in. In a lot of these places I'm throwing the crankbait, the same place I'm throwing the jerkbait and the jig, just a little bit shallower. Like in behind the, uh, if there's a row of cedars that when I'm jerkbaiting or working a jig through it, what I'll do is I'll get on the bank and kind of parallel in behind these trees anywhere from oh, 08 to as deep as 12, you know, 12 feet with the crankbait. But, you know, I really expect we've got... Uh, Looks like two or three nice days coming up this weekend, and that bite should really pick up once we get some consistent weather. A lot of the problem is it's getting down to 25 and 30 degrees at night, so what we gain water temperature during the day, we're losing it at night. But it looks like from this weekend on, you know, we're supposed to have 40, 45, even 50 degree lows, which is really going to help retain that water temperature. Now, the Bassmaster Elite guys... I believe they'll start practicing the first of the week, Monday, and their tournament starts a week from Thursday. Uh, now, regardless of what the weather conditions are, you know, those guys are going to catch them. I mean, they're, they're the best there is out there. And with this water warming up, this water, you know, warming trend that we got, they should hit it, uh, I mean, in a full-blown pre-spawn pattern. They'll be catching them, you know, every way imaginable. And I was just going to give you a little tip and stuff. If you're out there following these guys, especially during the tournament, I mean, this is these guys' livelihood and their careers. Uh, you know, give them some space. Let them fish their water. And even after they're done fishing, you know, they've still got two, three, four more days. So, you know, don't go back in and fish where they have been fishing. You know, give these guys you know, a little bit of respect. Uh, that's how they make their living and. It can be a life-changing deal for them, uh, you know, if they if they win or do real well. So, you know, I just like to see everybody uh, uh, give them the respect and, you know, give them plenty of space to do what they need to do. So, till next week, uh, good luck, good fishing.